just another quick video on the laser cutter um, been busy the last few days sort of starting to put all the guts into it now so yeah put the laser in up on its little adjustable mounts and I sort of had to make a riser so I had to bodge sort of one and a half steel tubes together but you know it works so whatever and the laser's strapped in it's not going anywhere um, probably gonna have to get some rubber bands or something because this tubing I'm using is trying to tear but you know, find that get that stuff later uh, I've also got this first optic mount in it's bolted onto a way over to steel plate uh, the laser power supply directly under it so I can just run the high voltage right to the terminal uh, and then over here this is where all the main electronics will go so we've got the controller down here and the two stepper drivers I just put in and I also have to put in this little air pump for the air assist and the water pump for the laser and somehow I'm sort of gonna have to get this up higher than the laser itself so all the bubbles collect in here and I can let them out um, and also this controller which will actually unplug it <coughs> once this thing has a case on it uh, I sort of left enough room in here that once it has a case on it this will sort of sit on the top or maybe I can make a bracket so it sits up like that and can fold down for shipping or something but see so yeah, that'll go up there and I think that's about it actually oh, power supply as well that's got to go in and also I have to put in well, actually the mainly the only mechanical thing left I've got to do is put the bed in I haven't really started on that yet but I'm going to be using the old linear bearings I was using with these and then it's going to be an adjustable Z bed with a stepper motor so have one of these down there with a bearing on it so the bed can move up and down on threaded rods with a stepper motor and just a belt system so I've got another two stepper motor drivers coming that will just probably go there and there for the Z and U when I eventually build one. Um, but I'm sort of just trying to get it in a basic working state at least or done except for the outer cover before I get to cans because I don't really have a welder or anything there so uh, sort of just making use of the cool weather and the tools I've got while I'm here. But Apart from that I've sort of, it could actually be in a running state about now, because if you look down here, see if I can, it's a bit bodgy, you can actually see the laser, so it's already sort of got partial alignment there, which is pretty good. Um, probably going to this is just what I made up to sort of detect my alignment first up. So I just mounted a camera onto the nozzle. And then I have a little LED here somewhere. Buried under all this crap. Here it is. I can stick that in the laser nozzle. And then I can use the camera to sort of align it without having to use the laser. And then once the laser's working, you can just put bits of tape on these brackets. And just use the burning spot. The thing is, if you fire up the laser before you have basic alignment, you end up punching holes in your wall and, you know, beam ends up going anywhere. So you sort of need to figure out a way of doing it without the laser first. Um, can't really afford one of the little red aiming lasers. I mean, there's enough room here, I can probably put one in eventually, but yeah, don't have enough money for that now. The optic itself is, uh, is like 90 bucks, just for a little tiny bit of glass. Well, it's actually zinc selenite or something. But yeah. Um, so actually, I could sort of hook this up right now and it'd move and I could align it and it'd actually cut. 
um, but I have to put in a temporary bed or just wait until I've made a bed so that's sort of what I'm waiting on doing now uh, there's a few little parts I really need to get machined up but I haven't really been able to find anyone that's willing to do sort of just some hobby CNC work basically but there's quite a few of them so you know if I sent the design off to China I could get it made but then it'd be about 400 bucks so don't really have that kind of money for a few little mounts so I suppose I'll just have to keep looking or look think of some alternative basically all it is is just plates of aluminium that'll mount down on here that will support the uh, threaded rods and the bearings so they're basically just flat bearing mounts and also a flat nut mount that'll bolt onto the bed and move it up and down Oops. my phone and yeah that's about it so I suppose I'll keep working on it and might actually have it running soon enough <laughs> alright thanks for watching